welcome back to the class yesterday we have been discussing the problems on velocity and acceleration of mechanisms in two different frames of reference when one frame of reference is a ground frame of reference which is at rest and another frame of reference is a moving frame of reference which is moving and rotating with respect to the ground frame of reference we have discussed some solved problems now today our section will be discussion about the solving the unsolved problems let's take the problem from the se section 16.129 the question says at the instant shown at this instant the ball b is rolling there is ball b okay first of all we have a disc and the radius of the disc is 0.8 meter okay and this disc is rotating about z axis okay we have a rotating disc the disc is rotating about z axis and on this disc there is a slot and in this slot there is ball b so what is ball b ball b is the motion of the ball b is the ball b is rolling in the slot okay it moves from point o towards the periphery okay this is the motion of this ball so ball is undergoing the translatory motion the ball is rolling while the disc is rotating at the instant shown the ball is rolling along the slot in the disc with a velocity of 600 mm per second and as far as the velocity of the ball is concerned the velocity of the ball is given to us it is 600 mm per second 600 mm per second is the velocity of this ball and this ball is rolling and an acceleration of 150 mm per second square and this ball is having an acceleration of 115 150 mm per second square both measured relative to the disc now this velocity this is very important both measured relative to the, the, the disc means we are given the velocity of the ball is 600 mm per second with respect to the disc acceleration of the ball is 150 mm per second square with respect to the disc okay and directed away from o that is b is accelerating it has velocity and it is directed away from o it means its velocity and acceleration is in this direction this is called directed away from o along x axis if at the same instant the disc has an angular velocity and angular acceleration as shown so he is giving us first information about the ball and telling us that the ball is rolling along x axis its velocity and acceleration measured with respect to the disc are 650 mm meter per 600 mm per second and 150 mm per second square respectively then afterwards he talks about the motion of the disc the disc is undergoing rotation its angular velocity is 6 radian per second and ex angular acceleration is 3 radian per second square along along z axis okay along z axis so this acceleration and angular velocity of the disc is the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the disc with respect to the ground okay because he is silent about the uh, silent about the uh, frame of reference uh, about which frame of reference is uh, you know this 3 radians per second square and 6 radian per second is defined so it is automatically that it is with respect to the ground number one number two is this angular velocity and angular acceleration cannot be with respect to the disc because if you have an observer on the disc with respect to the disc the observer is at rest so this information about the disc cannot be provided by the observer on the disc it is to be provided by an observer on the ground so what we have as far as this question is concerned in this question we have the ball the ball is under investigation and this ball is under the inve under investigation this motion of the ball is being viewed by a person on the by an observer on the on the on the disc and motion of the observer is viewed by an observer on the ground okay so we have the ball is under investigation the ball is under investigation and the, uh, the 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 motion of the ball is observed by an observer on the disc while as the motion of the observer is observed uh, by a, by an observer on the ground so first of all what we need we need two frames of reference so we have we the, what the question asks us it says determine the velocity and acceleration of the ball at this instant we have to find the velocity of the ball with respect to the ground and acceleration of the ball with respect to the ground so the question is like we are the velocity of the ball and acceleration of the ball with respect to the disc is given we have to find the velocity and acceleration of the ball with respect to the with respect to the ground okay so first of all let's write down 
our velocity and acceleration equation. Let me write first the velocity equation. It says I can directly write velocity of the ball, velocity of the ball with respect to the ground is equal to velocity of the ball with respect to the disc. It's equal to the velocity of the ball with respect to the disc. Velocity of the ball with respect to the disc plus velocity of O dash, that is velocity of ground frame of reference with respect to the velocity of the uh, disc frame of reference, velocity of the disc frame of reference with respect to the ground frame of reference. Okay, that is velocity of O dash with respect to J or velocity of disc with respect to J, that is the same thing. And plus angular velocity of angular velocity of disk frame of reference with respect to j with respect to ground and its cross product with a radius vector drawn from disk frame of reference to the ball this is this will be our equation okay? so we have the frames of reference we have we should always start from the frames of reference this is our ground frame of reference we should always start from this this is our ground frame of reference this is ground frame of reference I can write this as this is my ground frame of reference then I have uh, the disk I will write this as a disk D this is disk frame of reference okay. rotating one. so this is our disk frame of reference so I will write as disk frame of reference okay this is how it works so I have ground frame of reference and disk frame of reference so this is velocity of the ball with respect to the ground is equal to velocity of the ball with respect to the disk velocity of the disk with respect to the ground plus angular velocity of the disk with respect to the ground cross product with a radius vector drawn from the disk frame of reference to the ball okay so velocity of the ball with respect to ground we have to find it okay this is to be calculated is equal to velocity of the ball with respect to the disk the velocity of the ball with respect to the disk is given us it is 600 mm uh, per second okay and it's along x-axis because it says it is directed away from O so directed away from O means it is directed along x-axis okay so what we will be doing so we'll write this velocity of the ball with respect to velocity of the ball with respect to the disc will be equal to 600 this is 600 mm okay 600 mm means 600 divided by 1000 okay meter per second we are writing 600 mm is equal to 600 divided by 1000 meter okay 600 divided by 1000 meter per second and this is i cap it's along x-axis plus <coughs> velocity of disc with respect to the ground look at the disc the disc is only rotating the person the observer on the ground tells us that the disc is rotating with this angular velocity and this angular acceleration the observer says that the disc is rotating so when the disc is rotating it simply means that the disc is not translating okay the observer says that the disc is rotating it means that the disc does not have any translational velocity the disc is neither going along x-axis nor along y-axis nor along z-axis okay so this velocity is equal to zero it's only rotating observer says it's rotating it does not have a translational velocity plus angular velocity of disc with respect to ground yes the observer on the ground says that its angular velocity is six radian per second along z-axis so it is six k cap okay cross product with r o dash b Okay, R O dash B means the radius vector of the ball from the disc frame of reference, that is 0 0.4 I cap. Okay, so this can be written as 0 0.4 I cap, which is equal to this is can this is equal to 600 600 uh, I cap, that is 0 0.6 0 0.6 I cap meter per second plus 6 cross 0 0.4, that's equal to uh, 2.4. And you know, k cross i, k cross i is equal to j cap. So this is velocity, therefore we can write velocity of the, we can write velocity of the ball, velocity of the ball with respect to the ground frame of reference is equal to 0 0.6 i cap plus 2.4, 2.4 j cap. And the unit will be meter per second. This is meter per second. So this is what we have obtained. Look now. Look at the difference. A person on the disc, a person on the disc itself says that the ball is having velocity only along x-axis. Okay, 600 mm per second directed away from home. 
a person on the an observer on the disk says that its velocity is a one dimensional velocity but an observer on the ground says no its velocity is not one dimensional its velocity is two dimensional okay this is very important now the second expression is we have to find the acceleration with respect to the acceleration with respect to the ground so we'll write the acceleration formula the acceleration formula is i think the students should memorize the acceleration formula you should not you know look into the notes for finding the acceleration formula it should be well memorized to all the students the acceleration formula okay so i can directly write today that the acceleration formula is acceleration of the ball because p here is a ball acceleration of the ball with respect to ground is equal to acceleration of the ball with respect to acceleration of the ball with respect to the disk frame of reference plus acceleration of o dash that is acceleration of disk with respect to ground with respect to ground plus angular acceleration of what angular acceleration of a disk okay angular acceleration of disk with respect to ground angular acceleration of disk with respect to ground cross product with radius vector from the disk frame of reference to point to the ball okay to point p that's our ball okay minus angular velocity of the disk with respect to ground square uh, and r o dash p r o dash p vector okay r o dash p vector this is it close these braces plus and we have twice twice angular velocity of disk with respect to ground and its cross product with this is our coriolis term and its cross product with velocity of ball with respect to the disk okay this is this is the expression for the acceleration so we can write we have to find acceleration of the ball with respect to ground that will be that will be acceleration of ball with respect to disk what is the acceleration of ball with respect to disk it says its acceleration is 150 mm square mm it is it is 150 mm per second square that is 150 divided by 1000 meter per second square and it is directed away from o that's along x axis plus now it says acceleration of d with respect to the ground frame of reference the observer on the ground says that the disc is rotating only okay when the disc is rotating the observer says it's rotating it means it, it's not having any translational acceleration or translational velocity so this term like velocity term will be equal to zero then we have acceleration of disc angular acceleration of disc with respect to ground the angular acceleration of the disc with respect to ground is three radian per second square that is three k caps okay cross product with r o dash b the radius vector drawn from the disc frame of reference to b that is 0 0.4 i cap that is 0 0.4 i cap this is done minus angular velocity of disc with respect to ground angular velocity of disc with respect to ground is 6 so it is 6 square that is 36 multiplied by the radius vector from o dash to p that is 0 0.4 i cap so this is 0 0.4 i cap we are done with this then we have plus plus two times angular velocity of disc with respect to ground is how much 6k cap this is 6k cap this is 2 into 6 cap cross product with velocity of velocity of uh, b velocity of ball with respect to disc that is given to us velocity of ball with respect to disc is uh, that is 150 that's equal i will write it here this term i will write downwards this is plus uh, two times multiplied by this is 6k cap the velocity of disc with respect to ground is 6k cap and its cross product with you should not confuse this cross with the cross product this is multiply here this is cross product here, okay and its cross product is one velocity of ball with respect to disc is given as 150 divided by 1000 i cap meter per second okay that will be equal to that is equal to 
uh, it's not 150 sorry it is uh, x velocity of the ball with respect to this is 600 okay so this is sorry so this is 600 this is 600 divided by 1000 i cap okay okay that is 0 0.5 i cap this is 0 0.5 i cap plus 3 into 0 0.4 is 1.2 and our k cross i is equal to j cap minus 36 multiplied by 0.4 as far as 36 multiplied by 0.4 is concerned that's equal 14.4 so this is minus 14.4 i cap and we have 6 into 2 is 12 so it is 12 multiplied by 0 0.6 so that's equal to 7.2 that's equal to 7.2 okay and we have k cross i that's equal to j okay and we have plus here so we'll add up all these terms so we have i cap here i cap here that's equal to so acceleration of b that will be 0 0.5 i cap minus 14.4 minus 0.5 that's equal to 13.9 this is minus 13.9 i cap the acceleration is minus 13.9 i cap this is plus 1.2 plus 7.2 is equal to 8.4 j cap that's equal to 8.4 j cap meter per second square therefore this is the this is the acceleration of ball this is the expression for the expression of ball with respect to gram so this is what we have to calculate the acceleration of ball with respect to ground is this and velocity of the ball with respect to ground is this this is how we have to solve this question let's solve the problem 16.131 the problem says while the swing bridge is closing with a constant rotation of 0 0.5 radian per second a man runs along the roadway at a constant speed of at a constant speed of five feet per second relative to the roadway that's given to us later this is the velocity relative to the roadway determine the the velocity and acceleration at this instant d is equal d is equal 15 feet d is equal 15 feet see the question is like uh, this is a swing bridge as far as a swing bridge is concerned the swing bridges are the bridges which are constructed over the over the streams or the channels but beneath these bridges we have the frequent transportation of ships okay there is a transportation of ships or we say the ships move beneath these uh, bridges so but the height of the ship is above the height of the bridge so what it does for some time the traffic is stopped on both sides of the bridge and the bridge undergoes a swing okay the bridge swings as the bridge swings as the bridge swings okay so this portion is kept open for the traffic as well as this portion is kept because once the bridge swings so its configuration becomes like this okay so this portion is now open and this portion is now open for the traffic and when the traffic is over uh, i mean to say the marine traffic is over the bridge closes again the bridge closes again okay it swings back so this is given to us so it says that we have a swing bridge and an observer on the ground says that the swing bridge is uh, is is moving is rotating with an angular velocity of uh, 0 0.5 uh, radians per second and it's constant angular rotation constant angular rotation means that its angular acceleration with respect to the ground will be equal to zero because your angular velocity is angular velocity is constant now bridge is swinging with a constant rotation of 0 0.5 radian per second and a man is running okay at the roadway with a speed of five feet per second relative to the roadway so relative to the roadway it is moving with a with a velocity of five feet per second determine his velocity and acceleration we have to find his velocity and acceleration since he is silent velocity and acceleration that is with respect to the ground velocity and acceleration with respect to the ground we are given his velocity with respect to the uh, with respect to the roadway so we have two frames of reference we will say j is our 
our our our ground frame of reference and as far as our roadway is concerned our roadway is our uh, our moving frame of it's our moving frame of reference okay because it's undergoing rotation this is moving frame of reference and the observer whose motion is being observed it is the motion of the man so we have the person i will write p p is a person who is being observed so write down the acceleration write down the velocity velocity terms write down the velocity we will write the velocity expression for him we will write velocity of the man or velocity of the person with respect to the ground the expression will be velocity of the person with respect to the ground is equal to is equal to velocity of the person with respect to the road plus velocity of the road that's velocity of o dash that's velocity of road with respect to ground velocity of the road with respect to ground plus angular velocity of the road with respect to ground and cross product with r drawn from o dash to the person r o dash p that is radius vector drawn from the uh, roadway to the person that's equal to velocity of the person with respect to road is how much 5 feet per second so it's 5 feet per second and it's along this direction see it's along this direction it's running in this direction it's along minus j cap it's along minus j cap plus velocity of road with respect to the ground a person on the ground will say for example this is our ground frame of reference a person on the ground will say that this bridge is only undergoing rotation it's not moving it's neither moving along x axis nor along y axis nor along z axis so its velocity of the bridge with respect to ground is translational velocity is zero angular velocity is it is given to us it is 0 0.5 radian per second so it is 0 0.5 if we curl our fingers our thumb will be in along z so it is 0 0.5 k cap okay and its cross product with r o dash to p that is from the frame of reference from what you call as um, your uh, from the road frame of reference to the person we have a distance of d that is uh, 15 feet but this 15 feet is long minus y cap so it is minus 15 j cap okay so this is the velocity that is minus 5j minus 5j and k cross j k cross j is minus i minus minus will be plus so 15 multiplied by 0.5 is 7.5 I cap. So, as far as the velocity of the person with respect to the observer on the ground is, the observer on the ground says it has a two dimensional velocity. Its velocity is 7.5 I cap minus 5 J cap. This is the velocity of this person with respect to the ground. Okay. Now we have to calculate the ex expression for the, the expression for the acceleration will be, we can write the expression for the acceleration that will be acceleration of the person with respect to ground acceleration of the person with respect to ground is equal to acceleration of the person linear acceleration of the person with respect to the uh, with respect to the uh, road frame of reference that is r that's r plus acceleration of the road with respect to the ground that's acceleration of road with respect to the ground plus angular acceleration of the road with respect to the ground angular acceleration of the road with respect to ground and cross product with radius vector drawn from the road frame of reference to the person r o dash p minus will be angular velocity of the road with respect to ground its square r o dash p multiplied by r o dash p vector that's okay and we have the coriolis term plus twice angular velocity of the road with respect to ground cross product with velocity of the person with respect to the velocity of the person with respect to the with respect to the road okay this is the expression now as you solve it that's equal acceleration of person with respect to the road see 
the term that is given to us it says it says the man is running along the road at a constant speed of 5 k 5 feet per second constant speed so the observer on the road says that its speed with respect to the road is constant therefore its acceleration with respect to the road will be equal to zero because it's a constant speed with respect to road that's equal to, then we have acceleration of road with respect to the ground road does not have any acceleration with respect to the ground it has only rotational motion it does not have a translational motion therefore this term is also equal to zero then we have acceleration of road with respect to ground it says it is, it's 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 uh, uh, rotation is also constant it has a constant angular velocity when angular velocity is constant therefore angular acceleration is also equal to zero therefore zero cross product with this this entire term will be zero then we are left with omega r omega that is minus angular velocity of the road with respect to ground that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 k cap so sorry it is it's 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 square it's uh, it is angular velocity of road with respect to ground square angular velocity of road with respect to ground is 0 0.5 radian per second so it is 0 0.5 square multiplied by radius vector from o dash to p o dash to p radius vector is d that is minus 15 j cap okay this is it so we are done with this term but this is minus we'll write a minus here then we have plus what is angular velocity of velocity of p with respect to, okay we have plus twice angular velocity of road with respect to ground is minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 k cap not minus 0 0.5 k cap it's plus 0 0.5 k cap because it's along if we curl our fingers in the direction of this rotation thumb will be along positive z so it is plus 0 0.5 k cap and cross product with cross product with velocity of the person with respect to road the velocity of the person with respect to road is it's cross product with velocity of the person with respect to road is 5 but it's along minus j cap so it is 5 j cap okay this is the acceleration term that's equal minus and minus is plus so it is 0.5 raised to power 2 0.5 raised to power 2 multiplied by 15 that's equal to 3.75 so this is 3.75 j cap and then we have k cross j k cross j is minus i minus minus will be plus so it is 5 into 2 is 10 so it is 10 into 0.5 is 5 so it is 5 and k cross j is i therefore acceleration is therefore acceleration becomes 5i plus 3.75 j cap okay this is the acceleration of the person as observed by a person on the ground. Acceleration with respect to ground has this expression. Okay, this is acceleration. In the same way, I want my students to solve rest of the problems, to solve this problem, this problem, and these two problems along with the previous solved problems, I am leaving as an exercise to the, to the students. This is all for today. Tomorrow we'll be solving few more problems and then we'll be going to three-dimensional kinematics of rigid bodies. Thank you very much.